One more thing about uh, you know, the soul itself is that we the soul itself is very achievement oriented, very goal oriented. And then when we go into prayer, we also have a goal and we also want to achieve something. Uh -uh. Handing over prayer is actually not goal oriented. It has a purpose, but it's not goal oriented. It means that I'm going to become more spiritual. I'm going to become so great that people are, will notice me that how spiritual Albert is. No, there's no achievement to accomplish. Not goal oriented. Handing over prayer is relational. It's like, you know, you're breathing in, breathing out. Okay? That you are relating with God. It's like me sitting quietly with my wife, you know, having quality time. <laughs> it's called quality time with the Lord. And handing over prayer doesn't have a fixed formula. I can give you a formula, but that's not fixed. There's no definite form, no definite method. And not, uh, neither does it have a right way or wrong way of handing over. Some of you might ask me, Pastor, how do you hand over? Do you put your hand like this, then hand over? Or put your hand like this and hand over? Or you put your hand like this and hand over? <laughs> Whatever you want to do. You want to hand over this way, that way. It's up to you. No, no right way or wrong way. All right. We sometimes it's so funny. We always look for always look for formula. There's no formula. You talk to God. You just talk to God. You just hand over whatever. And handing over prayer is not emptying of your mind. All right. Because why? Let me tell you, God has created your mind always to have thoughts. No matter how you want to empty. If you want to empty your, your mind, you will struggle, you will fight, you have tension, you are fighting this thought, that thought. That is not what handing over prayer is all about. There's no fighting. It's non-violent. There's no fighting at all. All right? You just let the thought come. Okay? It is about embracing the thought that flow into your mind. Okay? Me said, all right, this thought of anguish or anger, I'm angry with somebody. Okay, it comes in, I receive it. Okay, but because I don't rest it in me, it doesn't touch my emotion because I hand it over. You see, I hand it over, gently hand it over to the Lord. Mm, that easy, that easy. So that is the prayer. So handing over prayer has just one requirement. One again, your willingness to hand over everything to the Lord. Why do I say your willingness? Because sometimes when a thought comes, we are unwilling to hand over. You realize that? So this person hurt me. So I got this thought. Oh, this person hurt me. This person, I helped so much, you know. And during her time of crisis, I and my wife, we help her. And now she bad mouthed us. And now she went out to slander against us and bear, you know, she bore false witness. She told lies about us. Oh, I'm so angry. Such ungrateful, wretched woman. Oh, I'm so angry. Lord, take revenge on my behalf. Lord, cause her to suffer. Let some disease come upon her. Lord, let all the bad fortune come upon her. Ah, you see what happened? See? The soulish self takes over. Can you see? Can you see what happened? When the soulish self takes over, when that thought comes, you refuse to hand over, it began to hit your soul, which means the mind, the emotion and the will. It hit you so hard. Then you become angry. You become bitter because you want to entertain this thought. You think this never happened to pastors? It, it, it happened. 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 We are just human beings like you. 
But because we learn the secret of handing over, I can't carry this dead monkey on my back. Yes, this sister may have done wrong. This sister may have, you know, offended me. But the soulish man already dead. So when you go to the graveyard of this dead man, you think you'll rise up and say, I'm so offended? <laughs> no. If you praise this dead man, do you think he say thank you? No. That's why it, that is what you mean to deny yourself, carry your cross. That is to be dead to your soulish self and become alive to Christ. Then you find that all, don't let all this thought land upon you. Don't let these dead monkeys, you know, being thrown by the devil, you know, the devil come and say, do you remember this? Do you remember some years ago, this person hurt you? You remember that uncle said bad thing about you? You remember this cousin who looked down on you when you were jobless? You remember this? You remember that? You remember this? And you say, yeah, 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 I, 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 I. I remember, I remember, I, I remember, I remember. No. Then what happened? Those things happened 10 years ago, happened 20 years ago, give you stress now. Maybe some of your, those people who say bad things of you already died. But what did Jesus say? Bless those who curse you, pray for those who persecute you. All right? And love those who despitefully use you. Wow, what is that? That is in the spiritual self. When Jesus is so much in me, all right, that when I hand over all my struggle, Jesus comes in. That's why the question here is, are you willing to hand over everything to the Lord? Mm -hmm.